trick we're going to do today is the Martinez. Now the Martinez is again one of those classic cocktails that are the origin of this fiercely contested. And the story goes that it could be made by a legend of our times, so Professor Jerry Thomas, or self-confessed professor, uh, who was the most successful bartender actually to come out of the US in the early 1880s and uh, quite a bit before. Now, if it wasn't Jerry that made it, it was certainly made by another bartender uh, for a man who was traveling to a town called Martinez and he paid for it with a gold nugget, so the story goes. Now, again, it's um, a very easy drink to make. It's a very simple drink with few ingredients, but it's all about how we combine those ingredients. The classic style of gin at the time was an Old Tom style gin, which is slightly sweeter. And Heyman's have made the Old Tom, probably the best that's available. Uh, we're going to be using that, Heyman's Gin Old Tom. We're going to be using some sweet vermouth, some Luxado Maraschino uh, liqueur, which is a cherry based liqueur, and some Regan's Orange Bitters. Now, the, uh, the drink is generally stirred. We're going to flip it up a little bit and try and throw it just to get a little bit more aeration into the final product. So we'll start by building in our ingredients. Heyman's Old Tom. And generally, it's a vermouth-led drink. So we're just going to put 30 mils of gin in there and actually put more vermouth than the gin. So the vermouth being really the predominant base. However, the gin is the catalyst for the drink. So a 45 millimeter measure of sweet vermouth. Now, the Luxado or the um, cherry liqueur is really only just a touch. So around about five mils or a teaspoonful of that. To balance that sweetness out, we've got some bitters made by the Sazerac company and Gary, Re Gary Regan great friend and uh, legend of our, our, our bartending time. Thanks guys. So now, as I said, the drink is normally stirred and what we're gonna try and do is just throw it, which kind of gives you a different aspect to the drink. It allows the drink to have a little bit more aeration involved and that sounds a little bit technical, but really what you're trying to do is lighten the texture of the drink. So if I may, and that just goes well, we'll just pass the drink between one vessel and another. Now, in the style of the great Jerry Thomas and the blazer, it's very similar to the fact that he used to ignite two fluids and pass them between the two copper vessels. What we're doing is really emulating that and trying to create a different texture for the drink. Now, twice is, is plenty. We will then pass that through the e glass and pour in our fabulous drink. Now, without the shaking, there shouldn't be any shards of ice floating around again, so it's nice and pure. And just to top that off, we've got fresh orange peel where we will just break those oils over the drink very gently just to accentuate the flavors coming through from the vermouth. Beautiful delicacy of the gin. There you go, Martinez. Enjoy.